Hey everybody, welcome to my shop. This is Chuck and uh, just having some fun. So as, uh, if you watch my channel, I've been doing a little bit of 3D printing and uh, this is a uh, grocery bag carrier is what it was uh, somebody had designed and drawn. And uh, we're going to see how much weight it'll carry out of curiosity. Um, here's a quick view of it when it was printing, so you can see the interior structure of it. Okay, we're back from that. Uh, let's give you some uh, dimensions and measurements. So, it's uh, just under five inches wide, just under four inches tall to the bottom of the hooks, um, almost three inches in the major rectangle. Uh, the hooks, uh, what did I write there? Uh, uh, why did I write that? I forget what I wrote. Oh, the, uh, the hooks basically are uh, uh, just under 400 thousandths, and they're... Uh, in the sense of their breadth. So, and then the actual cross section of this unit here, the cross section is uh, 386 thousandths or 9.81 millimeters. So we got a bunch of dimensions there. It'll be interesting. Now the question is where, where will this unit fail? Now, I brought out my height scale and I've taken measurements and I wrote it down here on the bottom. So I have the static measurements right now of what the top of the handle is, what the rail, what this portion is right here, the rail, and the top of the hook. And they're pretty much, pretty much consistent within a couple thou. So let's uh, put some weight to it and see what happens here. Not some weight, some pull. Now, I know if you watch me, you watch Fireball, and I don't have a water bottle to cut up <laughs> and make a helmet out of it. <laughs> Let me get this out of the way. And uh, we're going to see what kind of uh, weight it'll uh, before it fractures. So let's uh, give it a tug and uh, place your bets. Um, the table weighs, I don't know, 1,000 pounds plus. We've got a 3 8 rod. 5 16 hooks. I've added this piece of um, PEX piping. I cut it to try to actuate a hand load on the handle so that it's somewhat even. Uh, tried to stay away from the corners with the, P the uh, PEX and uh, I think it'll, it'll actually do the load pretty good. So right now it's uh, there's no load on it. It's just taut. So let's uh, let's uh, put some uh, let's put some tug on it and see what she does. I wish I had a uh, second camera up close, but we're gonna have to deal with it the way it is. So here we go, and we'll stop at 50 pounds. We got a tattletale here on the. Uh, Dynamometer, so here we go. So it's almost up to 50 pounds. According to the unit there, we're at 50 pounds. So, uh, well, it looks like the handle is deflected some. Let's uh, see if we can get some measurements here real quick. I did not take a measurement in the center of the handle since my webbing is there. So we'll check the center hook. Center hook is unchanged. Center bar is unchanged. Can we get on that? And we've uh, definitely gone up on the 
Who took my pencil? Definitely gone up. Yeah, there's a pencil. So we went from uh, basically uh, 600 thousandths. We've put about, a, we're at uh, 50 pounds and we're at 6.167. So and we were 68, so we put about 80, it's about 80 thousandths on it. Okay, place your bets. Place your bets. Let's see. She makes 100 pounds. Okay, creep it up on 100. 100 popped it. pounds and we snapped both uh, both legs okay 100 pounds and we basically snapped below the uh, actually we we didn't break the handle we didn't deflect the handle which is interesting it was actually the tension strength on the vertical beam that snapped and I guess uh, in reality, that might, oops, I didn't mean to kick the camera. Kick it again. Let's uh, drop the pressure. Sorry about that on the camera. Let me see if I can get that out of there. Will that break off? That's probably the thinnest section when you look at it. Hang on, I'm going to move the uh, camera. Okay, I kept going. And uh, I guess that makes sense. That's where she popped. Because if you saw in the film of the unit being printed, you could see all the triangles that are, that are the matrix that make up the web. But really in the sense of the shell here, there's just not that much, that much strength for the pull. And that wall is uh, 84 millimeters, basically 33 thousandths. So there's not a lot of material there in the sense of uh, what was done here. Okay, 100 pounds, 100 pounds to pull. Take you up and show you. You can see it. We've got the tattletale there that showed us we got to 100 pounds. Bring you back down. Well, 100 pounds of pull. We didn't get to even make get to a second dimension measurement. Um, now, this is designed. Whoever designed this, I remember I just printed it. It's to carry your grocery bags. Figuring you put your plastic grocery bags on it, and are you going to have is the average uh, person going to carry more than 100 pounds of grocery in on some plastic bags? Probably not. Anyway, hey, that was some fun. Thanks for stopping by the channel. And uh, never know what else will happen here on a Scurry Tuesday. <laughs> All the best. Take care. Subscribe and hit the bell. Don't miss out on this. Hmm. Now what can I do with this? All right. Okay. I hope you stuck around. We're not done with this guy yet. Let's let's take it one more try. Not a super great setup here. But let's. Uh, Let's go. Red line's been reset on the uh, unit, and uh, here we go. Let's see what gives away. Uh, we're at uh, 50 pounds there. Uh, 
Well, there's 100 pounds. That was our break point last time. Of course, we, uh, we're pulling against a heck of a lot more now. Uh, there's uh, 150. There's 200. Does look like it's starting to fatigue. There it goes. Yeah, we did some damage on that one. Okay, zoom me in here. Get a look. They kind of fractured together there. And red line. Just a fudge over uh, 200, maybe 225. Okay. Enough of that. I'm glad you stuck around for the encore. <laughs> uh. Catch you guys later.